the cereal in the cupboard and milk in the fridge. What? Fresh towels are in that closet. What? Thank you for a fun night. Hmm? Sorry, sorry, wait, wait, what? You might want to take it easy on the tequila next time. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not everyone can handle it. <laughs> Do I have, like, your number? Mm-hmm. Under L. They deal. Yeah. Mm hmm Of course. Mm. We should grab coffee sometime. Yeah, coffee. That'd be great. Or I could be free for lunch. 1.15. In the city? Yeah. Melbourne. Sorry, I'm still just waking up. So? Yeah, lunch. I can kill some time. I know. I know. What were they thinking? Cause everybody knows that I just can't help myself when I'm with you. So, what do the symptoms look like? You're going to want to urinate more and you might feel a burning sensation and your testicles may become swollen and sore. Help me balls. Mm -hmm. oh. You'd have to grow a pervert. <clears throat> now, for women, you may also feel pain in your lower belly, bleed between periods and experience vaginal discharge. Oh, uh, miss, uh, what's that? I, I'm just trying to learn. Learn silently. <clears throat> Now, remember, as I've said before, with a lot of STIs, you may not have any symptoms at all. So, what you're saying is that you could have an STI and not know about it. Mm hmm So, you may have an STI. I don't. <laughs> but how would you know? Because I know. Am I be excused? I need to go to the bathroom. Mm hmm Can I go too? No. Since I first met you, I couldn't get you out of my head. Now I'm wondering how do we both get here? Hey, people usually donate if they're enjoying the music. Yeah, people with jobs. <laughs> how much did that coffee cost you? Well, I guess you weren't completely terrible. Ooh, hey, you really are a fan. That's generous. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> hey, I'm playing a gig later at the Ev, if you wanted to come along. I will be tucked up in bed. That's a shame. And that is why it is important to wear a condom, even if both partners appear to be STI free. Oh, thank God, I'm starving. Oh. Okay, everyone, grab your bananas because we are going to learn how to put a condom on today. Oh. <laughs> Brayden! <laughs> Well, I just wanted to make sure it would fit me pack out. <sighs> what about same-sex couples, miss? What do they have to look out for? Great question. You can learn all about that in the booklet that I'm going to give you after class. It has lots of comprehensive information. Well, why don't you just tell us now? Are you embarrassed? <laughs> it's all in the booklet. It's funny that in a sex education class, we haven't heard one word about consent, oh, come sexuality, on, pleasure, or abortion. OK, that's enough. Why are you even taking this class if you are so uncomfortable? <laughs> What do you tell gay kids? <laughs> and young women who are constantly subjected to the sexual advances of men who haven't been taught the first thing about the meaning of consent. Now is not the time. When is, miss? Because I refuse to take part in a sex ed class that ignores the main issues. <laughs> that class was awesome. By awesome, you mean disgusting. No, check right? this out. <laughs> No amount of free condoms is gonna fix a broken sex ed program. Should see us through the weekend, though. What do you want Jade to do? She has to teach the curriculum. It's not her fault the booklet's lame. Is that really good enough for you? I'm just glad it's over. And that's the thing. No one cares. Jade should have told us about the full spectrum of sexuality. Don't you want to have smarter and safer sex? Beggars can't be choosers. What are you getting at? I want your help. We, the undersigned, demand more progressive and inclusive sex ed classes. Do you really think a petition is the answer? Yeah. I mean, we take it around the school, get a bunch of signatures, I'll type it up and then we present it to Jade. 
then she'll have to listen to us. Who's gonna sign that? Yeah. Oh. Well. You agree it's important, right? Sure. So, will you help me? Uh, yep, that time works great. Thanks for seeing me on such short notice. Okay, bye. Hello. Hey. Yeah? Problem? No, just thought you hated PDAs. Depends. Hey. Don't you have anything better to do than creep around by yourself? I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Talk later, yeah? Sure. What are you doing? <laughs> I need a pee. Again? You know, you should probably stop drinking all that tea. Oh, we're having a private conversation. Oh, I just needed the bathroom too. Uh -huh. Sure you did. <laughs> what is her deal? Yeah, I know, right? Can you go to the canteen or something? It's probably quiet by now. Can I have a thing? A thing? Doctor thing? <laughs> Why don't you just go after school? They're really busy. Um, I think I'm gonna die without my allergy medication, you know? Just... Well, have fun. Uh, from what you told me, there is every chance that this problem is just a UTI. That being said, I think it's best we do some tests to rule out anything else. Yep, sounds good. I see you're on the contraceptive pill. Yep. Have you had unprotected sex in the last three months? Not really. Not really? Uh, what does that mean? Uh, there's, there's just, I don't know if you would classify it as... Uh, how about I put that down as a yes, if you're okay with that? And until we get the results back, I strongly recommend that you avoid any kind of sexual contact. Of course. How long will that be for? Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I'm Holly. I'm Mads. And if you want to watch the whole season, it really helps support future production of Flunk. So you can just head to the description. There's a link. You can watch the whole thing on Vimeo right now. Yeah. And there's a lot of fun things in there, like behind the scenes and just a little bit of extra content if you're mm -hmm. interested. Um, also, be sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel here. Yes. Um, and leave us a comment as well. We'd love to hear your thoughts. I like to read the theories. <laughs> <laughs>